All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one here. Now, I've been playing a lot of Grand Blue versus. I think the game's really good. And today, I want to make a video for all you Guilty Gear Strive players that haven't actually tried the game yet. Who I think you should play based on your Strive main. So let's look. Character select. How many characters in this game now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Golly. So there's 26 characters right now. Now, there's no perfect fit for any of these, but you know, we went over with the stream chat. I think we've got a decent, you know, decent recommendation list. So uh, let me know. Find your character. You agree, disagree, leave a comment. And uh, yeah, again, I, I recommend this game. It's really, really fun. Try the free to play version. But anyway, let's get into it. So, first off, from the top left, we're going to start with Johnny. Now, Johnny's kind of hard. We went with Eustace, right? So I I'm sure a lot of players are like, hold on, you're crazy. We're talking about Strive Johnny, not not old school Johnny. So Eustace, you might think he's a zoner, but he's more like a mid-range rushdown set play character. That's perfect, right? Like Johnny in Strive. Right, he's got some nice range. Like look, look at the range on these buttons, right? Like Johnny normals here. He doesn't have Misfinder, but you can kind of use it. His shot is like you know a mid-range like Misfinder poke, and you know his set play comes from this though. This is uh Johnny in Strive's got the card. Eustace uses a grenade here. Like the card, he can throw out a grenade to kind of keep that pressure going while he brings his mix. He's got EX grenade, which is kind of sick too, right? He sets up like a time bomb, just like the card. It just, it, it's cool, right? It's kind of like how Johnny plays as well. Also, come on, man. Look, he's like the tallest, coolest character. He's just like Johnny. But anyway, give him a try if you like Johnny and Strive. All right, next up is Testament. And again, this is Strive Testament. So a bit different right now. There's no one-to-one -one comparison, but we went with Cagliostro. So, like Testament, kind of a weird, not not keep away, just kind of like a mid-range control of the screen. It's got the weird, like, disjointed projectiles, kind of like Testament has, right? You can bring him back that way as well. She also has teleports, like Testament. You're going all sorts of different directions for the mix. It's fast, too. Testament doesn't have it in Strive, but she's got the traps, like the old school, the old school Testament, but... It's also got stupid Testament buttons like this. Look at this. Look at this 5H. It's ridiculous. But yeah, good character. A bit stronger than Testament 2. This character's probably top five, so give her a try. Just don't don't play me if you pick her. All right, next up is Jacko. There is no there is no good Jacko, right? There's no one that plays like Jacko, so we went Luane. The minions are a bit different, but Luane can kind of fill the screen, kind of like how Jacko can do. He summons the boys. He summons uh, the little Catalina robot here. Once he gets in the corner, you know, mid-screen, it's usually just kind of, like, annoying. When he gets in the corner, he's got some set play, right? Kind of like Jacko. Right? He's got some set play with the boys, like high, low, unblockables, dodging and stuff like that. And then Jacko doesn't have this move, but basically nobody likes fighting that character. Nobody likes fighting Luane. I think it's a perfect match. And if you're ever losing, just turn on Mario Party and you can steal the round. So pretty, pretty, I think, actually, I think this is a, a decent, a decent comparison there with Jacko. But he plays that kind of like weird, that kind of mid-range. A lot of mid-range, we keep saying, but yeah, mid-range, summon the, the minions and then YOLO with Yig. Again, if you pick this character though, don't fight me. Don't play me. I don't want to play you. All right, next up is uh, Nagoryuki. This is a weird one. This is a weird one, but I went with Nier. So you might be like, what the hell? What kind of comparison is this? But some reasons why we went with this. First of all, Beyblade. Let's go. We got Beyblade. You know you love it. So Beyblade is there. Uh, also, Nago's got to worry about his like blood gauge. Where the idea is if he pops blood, he's supposed to lose, even though he doesn't. Nier's got the death stocks up there. Whenever she uses her specials, she takes a stock away, similar to the blood. If she runs out, she's supposed to lose, but she doesn't. Uh, another similarity, uh, Nago is a stupid character that's been top tier for three years. Hey, Nier is also probably the most stupid character right now. So they fit in that regard as well. And then Nago's gimmick in Strive is to cancel specials into each other. Nier can do that with death, right? So I can cancel like freely rotate through my specials, which is very unique and very, very strong. And look at this, you got Nago Bun. So this is 2S? Wait a second, this is actually a very good pick. This is definitely Nago. Look at these buttons. Only thing she's missing is a command grab. But other than that, pick her, you won't regret it. Before she gets nerfed, that is. All right, next up is Milia. So Milia is pretty obvious. It's Lancelot in this game. Uh, Grand Blue is not a game with a lot of mobility unless you play Lance. I don't know why this dude can move like this. So he's got wall jumps. Air dives, right? He's got teleports. He's flying all over the screen, this dude. He's nuts. He also got Oki as well. It's not as powerful as the disc, but I don't know. So I, I don't know how to do it in this version, but he's got ice Oki. He's got this stupid thing. Look at this. Millie wishes he had this. He can put status effects on you like it's an RPG. You see how they're glowing? She's slowed down now. So you can do comms that don't normally work, like extra blocks, and he's nuts. But yeah, just Lance, if you, if you want a mobile character, this is the most mobile character in the game. And if you're struggling with Millie and Strive, good news for you, because Lance is probably top five in this game. Very, very, very strong character. 
Very, very easy to play. Thank me later. I might be a Lance player very soon. But anyway, good luck. All right, so next up is Chip. Someone in the chat was like, isn't Chip Lance a lot? No, Chip is six right here. So both of those characters, Lance and uh, Six, are very, very fast. Lance a little bit more mobile, but Six is a bit more aggro. His offense, very, very powerful and very, very, very easy. This character is super privileged. So like Chip, he's got a Rekka with uh, multiple follow-ups, right? You can go for, I don't know, teleport away. and go for an overhead and go for plus frames. But just very, very, very aggressive character. Very, very aggressive. He's got God buttons like Chip as well. He got Air Fireball. He got Air Fireball like Chip's old Shuriken. He's got Gamma Blade. Look at this. So he's got Gamma Blade. But watch what he can do with this one. If you hold the button, he's plus on block too. Amazing. I highly recommend picking up and playing before he gets destroyed. But he is nuts. This move is broken. Invincible beats throws, wins the round right there. He's got a counter. Oh my goodness. Don't get me started. But yes, if you like rush down, you like quick, you like offense off of... Offense, offense, this is your dude right here. All right, next up is Soul. A Soul could be a lot of characters, but we're just gonna keep it simple and go with Grand. We'll go like protagonist, protagonist. Grand, just like Soul, he's got everything. He's got everything you need. Just very, very, very solid character. He's got soul damage as well. Look, I don't know combos, but. I this the most basic thing, right? I just press cycled into whatever and whatever. Let's see this damage real quick. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, that, like, that's not even optimal, right? That's not even optimal, but insanely high damage, like, soul. He, look at this. He got some dumb soul buttons, too. Like, this could be sweep, right? His sweep is, like, soul's 2D. He doesn't have far S, but he's got this. Dash 6XL. So, just, like, very, very strong all around. Got God jump buttons. Got projectiles. Got a DP. The boot. You already know about the boot. So, he's got, like, every special you need. That's it. I don't know what else to say. But, very, very good character. Very, very solid. Very, very strong. And the best part, he's free to play. So earlier I talked about the free to play version. Grand's always free to play. So if you just want to like try the game out, just start with Grand, get a feel for it, and you'll figure out. You'll be like, I like this game. Well, I'm going back to Strive. All right, next up is Kai. So for Kai and Catalina, Kai players in Strive like to say they got clean neutral and like they play they play grounded footsies, but they kind of go nutty. You know, they kind of go nutty a lot of times. Cat is a character designed around footsies, right? Her pokes. She's supposed to be just kind of jailing people with these god pokes and confirms and everything. You can't really do it. She doesn't have like a YOLO stun dipper or like food dark or anything, but her pokes are like high. She got a projectile. She got a DP. Just a very, very basic character, but I mean that in a good way. This character, surprisingly, because of her simplicity, I think she's very, very fun. She's very, very fun. It feels good just to just jail people out. Like, I'm going to press one button and you're going to run into it. Got the hit, you get easy like confirm and da 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 da. So yeah, if you're a Kai player, if you want like a basic game plan around pokes and the footsies, the neutral you think you have, go with Cat. All right, May is super easy. Now, a lot of people in chat were like, it's, it's Anila, she's got the sheep, he's got the sheep. It's not. May is Charlotta. Both of them, little gremlins, just gonna rush down and destroy you. So Charlotta, as you see, three foot 10, but she is a character, she wants to just run at you and mash on buttons. So up close, she's very, very, very scary. This this button in particular, like 5B right here, it leads into full combo. Uh, as for Totsugeki, she got ball. This is her version of Totsugeki, kind of just lets her get in there. She can do like short one, see? Like a short Totsugeki and then just go for a grab right there. Like Mei, she got a command grab right in the corner on standing. She's got Mei damage, right? Especially with the super. Just, this is the character. Like if, if you want a character just Drive your opponent crazy and just just maul them. Just stay on top and just don't let up the offense. Just just go with this girl right here. I got I got bad I got bad history with this character. She's a nut. All right, next up is Zato. I I just I have to apologize, Zato players. I know I know I don't mean to insult you. I, I don't mean to insult you, but if you're a Zato player, the only character I can really like recommend is Near, and it's she is about one percent maybe two percent is difficult as zato if you play strive zato who's going through like the struggle bus right now pick her you're gonna be absolutely shocked you're like why is she so strong why is she so busted why is she so easy there's there's no the only comparison of course the reason i'm saying it is because she is a quote-unquote puppet character she's not but that's all they got in strive this character's cracked out zato players you deserve a break if you're playing strive zato you deserve a break come come play near do this. Just mash on DP all day. Whee! I did it. I did it. This character's disgusting. All right. There's nothing else to say. Sorry, Zato players. Give her a try. All right. So next up is Eno. Eno is quite hard. Eno is quite difficult, but I think this is a good... I think this is a decent pick, Matera. So Matera is a zoner. 
kind of, right? So traditionally, you might think she's like, oh, lame, full keep wave zoner. And she can play like that. The same way Eno can kind of stall a little bit with notes. But what makes her really strong is when she does get that hit or get that knockdown, is her mix-up is so strong. She doesn't have a, a hover dash like Eno, but she's got a hop, which is very unique in this game, right? So she's got a hop, double hop. So she has air mobility. So she can go high, right? She can do all sorts of mix-ups. And she also has this, this butterfly here. So it's kind of like a time bomb that when she shoots, it activates. Very, very similar to Eno is that Eno, if you think about it, she's one of the characters that probably got the most amount of like perfects in the game. When her game plan works, when Eno gets momentum and stays on top of you, she can just wipe you out. You don't get a chance to play. Matera's like that too. You know, neutral, you struggle, you're kind of lame, but if you can get that one hit and start getting the mix going, very similar, like, Eno vibes. This character gets a lot of perfects, a lot of uh, very, very strong rounds, but you gotta earn them. You gotta you got earn them right there. Plus, she's got the same Eno, like, older sister vibes. I know you guys are into that, right? Anyway, yeah, if you, if you like, you know, give Matera a try. I think she's pretty, I think it's a decent pick. All right, next was Happy Chaos. I got nothing to say, man. I know, I know why you play Happy Chaos. We all know why you play Happy Chaos. Don't lie to yourself, just pick near. You have no friends in Strive. You pick near, you're gonna have no friends in Grand Blue. Just, just do it. This character is insanely cracked, insanely free form. She's playing her own game. She makes the game less fun for everybody. It's Happy Chaos, that's it. There's nothing else to say, just just do it. Stop lying to yourself. Replace your gun. Instead of gunshots, you got you got a death attacking. All right, enough. All right, next was Bedman. Bedman was quite, quite difficult. We spent a lot of time on this and I ended up going with Eustace. There's really no good pick for Bedman, but we went with Eustace, right? He's got projectiles. He's got projectiles, kind of like Bedman, you know? The rewind sequence or whatever, right? You kind of do it with a time bomb. So you kind of have that, that mix right there. He's got Bedman mid-range buttons, right? It's not a perfect fit. Something was missing, but we figured it out, okay? So if you're a Bedman player, don't pick Eustace. So this is who you should pick. You wanna go here, Lunalu right here. Okay, pick her. On these, make sure only Eustace is checked, okay? Make sure only Eustace is checked, and now let's go. So there we go. Why did I do that? Because now you got Eustace, you got the Bedman gameplay, and look at that, look in the background. It's a little bit different. You should be in the foreground, but you got little Delilah in the back out there cheering you on. You'll feel like you're just at home here, but I, I think that's perfect. Now, I didn't know you could cheat on random select like this. I gotta start using her more often now. But yeah, give him a try. I next up is Elfelt. Elfelt is very, very difficult. Couldn't really think of a good one. So if you got a better one, let me know. But for Elfelt, we're gonna go with Zeta. So why? First of all, one, easy to play, right? Easy to play, strong, easy to play. Uh, she doesn't have an air gun, but she got lasers on the ground. So she got a decent projectile. She doesn't have Rekkas, but she does have forward moving specials that kind of like pushing people, safe pressure to the corner, right? You can even kind of have some sort of mix up if you do EX, right? How many times you're gonna do it? Grenade, so Elfelt's like air pressure. Air mix up's not, not a big thing in this one, but Zeta has Pogo, right? You could fake and go low. You can delay and go high, right? You can do Pogo, nothing, grab. That same kind of approach from the air, air mix up. It's kind of it's kind of like her. And then just like in general too, like this character is really, the buttons are, are, are cracked. Like very, very just strong, solid buttons, solid all around character. That's about it, right? I was trying to think of like an easy character that's a little bit unique. It's probably Zeta, it's probably Zeta. There's no perfect match, but. Definitely give her a try. She's also top tier. She's top tier as hell. So if you're an OG LFL player that misses when she was like top one, there you go. All right, so next up is Sin. For Sin, again, he doesn't have like the food, or the calorie uh, bar mechanic, but we're gonna go with Siegfried. So Siegfried, big buttons. Like he doesn't have Beak Driver, look at this. He got Beak Driver, basically. 5H, you know, big poke, and he can cancel this one too. Uh, so he got big pokes. He's got big damage as well, like Sin. Forward moving specials here. Look at that, it's Elk Hunt. A dashing low, come on. You got Elk Hunt, this character's just, just good all around, right? And again, just, you got a DP as well. Just very similar to Sin of like, easy to play, strong character, high damage. I, I feel like this is a good is a good pick. And not calories too, but he does have some follow-ups on his eyes uh, too. A, a little bit similar, but we'll see. But yeah, this character is, is very, very good too as well. So if you, if you like Sin, you like, Strong, you know, strong mid-range buttons that can also rush down and do a ton of damage. Give him a try. All right, next is Biken. I think Biken is probably the the one character I'm the most like confused about. I cannot, I cannot think of a character like Biken. So we went with Narmaya. So first of all, probably for like 90% of you, that makes sense because I know why you picked Biken. So there you go. Narmaya's right there. Just get what you came here for. But as for play style, Strive Biken is quite unique, right? 
she got a lot of like really unique tools that just aren't in this game so i can't really figure out how to bring him in there but she got a katana too she got nice buttons right biking ish normals here now Maya's gimmick though she got two stances right so she got the sword in or the sword drawn so they change her normals and her specials yeah like this is this is like her yozansen here it's not an overhead it's not a mix-up tool but it's good to bait throws or like low mash you see it's invincible so there you go kind of right there kabari like s slash and a kabari you can do this like a weird misfiner but yeah i'm sorry guys i think if you like biking just go with narmaya for the the visuals because there's no there's no like tatami kabari character in this game air dash jump d just pick the the big sister with the two big horns on her head all right next was angie angie was another very hard character right i was i almost went with Sora's, right i almost went with Sora's to base around fujin but we went with belial just for fun just to have some laughs here. Angie's big gameplay is based around Fujin, you know, a special move that goes into high-low. He doesn't really have that, although he does kind of have a multi-purpose special here. This move's quite good. You can use it on block, on hit. Very, very strong special. But yeah, like Butterfly, like he can do uh, his fireball has follow-ups there. So he can do kind of like Butterfly Goofy Oki with, uh, sorry, let me, I don't know what it is, but I've been hit by stuff like that before where you got to block the projectile while he can still move. But the reason why I went up for this, this is when we went with uh, Belial. There you go. That's your spin. I know you guys love twirling around with Angie in the game, but Belial's got a crappier version. This is one button. When he's strutting on you, this is a counter. All right, here you go. Ready? All right, so that, that's his little his little spin right there. So not as strong. He kind of get, gets a knockdown. A little bit of damage. You can keep the pressure going. But if you want to just mash, mash guard points in neutral, Parry's a neutral. This is your dude right here. And the chat keeps saying that he likes to sleep with men. But does Angie? Does Angie do that? I didn't know that was part of his lore. I thought he was Biken's uh, wannabe boyfriend. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. All right. So for Leo, we went with UL. So we go from the, the big buff dude to the cute little fox girl. But she's a very, again, fast, aggressive rushdown character like Leo. She got some god buttons too, like his 5H, right? Her 5H is godlike. Her 5M is, is godlike. Very, very good. She got a DP like Leo, and the thing, it's not as strong as his, but her gimmick is she got two stances. While she's attacking, like for example, you see that little flame? She can swap in between stances as she keeps the pressure going, like Leo does. But yeah, when she's in the stance, you got auto parry on mids. So you don't have to like mash on shield because the game will take care of it for yourself, but this character very, very strong and her offense is so good. It's it's very Leo-esque of like, why did I lose? You just realize like, wait a second, why did I lose? Very, very easy character, very, very strong. This character doesn't, the game doesn't have a crazy like Leo style left-right mix up off everything, but I think she's a good, it's a good solid, solid pick if you like just mauling people. All right, next up is Faust. Don't even, don't even try. I know the Faust plays like, no, no, it's not true. We're more like Catalina because our, our neutral and our pokes are so good. Be quiet. Faust is Luane in the story. No discussion. Play like a nut. Fill the screen with nonsense. Like pray to RNG as you eat food and like just just go ham. And then, you know, when you really want to just YOLO at the end, like we saw earlier, just bet it all. Just go to the casino and just start pressing buttons. Good luck. Hey, we did it. We did it. He's he's stronger than Faust, too. That's the worst part. That's the worst part. This character is very, very solid, believe it or not. You want to play him super lame, too. Just play him super lame, run away, summon, throw out, basically throw out items, call your boys, eat food while they're distracted. Don't do yik, but every time you get 100, let's go ham. Go ham with the with the schmix right here. Do it like two, three times around if you can. Anyway, Faust, easy pick. Go Lewayne. No one's gonna like fighting you, but that's what you want, right? All right, next up is Axel. So Axel, we're just gonna go with Ferry, the dedicated like zoner in this game. You see, doesn't have the uh, the sickles or whatever, but she's got a whip in this game. She's a bit of a struggle character right now, just like Axel is. She used to be super busted in top tier, but she's paying for her crimes right now. So yeah, the similarity is basically right there. It's just like, you know, the long range poke button. She also has a DP like Axel, which has been nerfed a little bit. But in addition to that, she got a little bit of set play, right? She can summon pets, go for high low and stuff. That that's about it. If you, if you like if you like the the zoning style of Axel, she's she's the one to go to. But like I said, she's kind of a struggle right now because this game is very very aggressive. The characters are very fast, very very strong, and she's quite slow now. When this game only had 11 characters and she was super broken, but it's a different era. So if you're not having fun with her, but you still want to play a zoning character, I guess you could try like Matera, try Anilla. You could try Anilla. Try somebody else, because right now I think this character is a bit too much work for too little reward, but she is the Axel function right now. And you know what? I say good. I say good. I was around for the dark days. 
I was around for Vanilla Fairy, so she deserves... She needs to suffer for like two more years before we let her back into like top tier. All right, next up is Potemkin. So this game's got uh, La Diva or Fastiva or whatever. Uh, she's like the dedicated grappler, but Potemkin's a little bit different, right? He's a little bit different. So Vasaraga feels like a better pick. He's a big body, big normals. He's got armor, right? If you pop this, you got armor. How do you do tackle? Right, armor tackle. Kind of like a hammer fall right there. He also does have a command grab, right? He's got a command grab as well. But I think I think this is a Potemkin function. If you like those big body characters, but you're struggling with Potemkin, I feel like uh, Voss is pretty good. He's definitely my worst matchup. I have no idea what he's doing. Like very, very high damage character. Just, just that's about it. I feel like it's, it's an easy pick. Look, Pot Witch, you could do that. You can be armored up while you do this too. Boom. Anyway, there you go. If you're Pot, give Vasaraga a try. If that doesn't work and you just want to be, pick a grappler, you just want to roll the dice and command grabs, go with La Diva. She's a bit different, but she's uh, those are your two big choices right there. All right, next up is my main, Ramathal. So Ramathal, we already we said Sin could be Sig, but I think Ram is, is Sig as well. Easy to play, super carry, just god buttons, right? God buttons, god damage in the corner. Like every button Sig has is godlike. Jesus. I don't know what else to say. So he can't shoot the sword. You know, Ram's got the sword shoot. She got like Rekka stuff, but he doesn't have any of that fancy shenanigans. He's just all around good. Just the god of neutral, the god of damage as well. I guess this could kind of be like a sword shoot as in like just auto win neutral. You can just kind of toss that out and go in, go Sig. And again, like I said, he's very, very strong. This is like a top five candidate right now. But yeah, for Geo, we went with Sora's right here. There's a couple characters like that, but you know, Geo's the kind of ones get right on top. She wants to use her, her dash to get in there. Unfortunately, Sora's dash is ass, but who needs a dash when you can just punch, right? So similar to her eagle strike, whatever her kick is here, but it's the same idea, right? Get in there, get that pressure going, and then now we can start mixing up with grabs and what she can do, which is so lovely. Uh, the same way Geo can do her little like split kick to beat the tech. Oh baby, we got this, right? You got power guys that'll blow up the tech there. Just very, very aggressive, very, very fast character when it comes to uh, decision making, right? He's not fast in movement, but once he's on top of you, the decision making, the RPS you have to do, very, very like high APM, very, very high decision character. He's fun, he's fun. He's not as cute as Giovanna, I'm sorry, but I feel like this is your best chance, your best choice right here. But if you like Rushdown, there's a lot of good Rushdown characters in this game. So if you don't want to play him, try UL, try Charlotte, try Six, try anybody, but this this is my pick. I said it was Gold Lewis, and yes, you're seeing that right, we're not changing. But yeah, Gold Lewis I think is also like Sora's, but for different reasons, right? So Gold Lewis is like a big, slow character that struggles to get in, but then he's really, really scary. Uh, Sora's like that as well. Right, mobility is not that good, but when he gets in, the same thing like Gold Lewis, where he just chips you to death. It's just like a random sequence, right? Let's just do some, right? Just pressing buttons here, but you see the chip damage is adding up. He does way more, just as his pressure goes, the chip adds up, it forces them to make some mistakes. So he definitely is like a robbery character, the same way Gold Lewis is. And now, if you're playing Season 3 Strive, you know the biggest complaint here with Gold Lewis is um, White Wild Assault, which is like a full screen, invincible move that leads to winning the round. Well, guess what? There you go. That is armored, right? He's got a full screen, armored punch. That's the this game's White Wild Assault, and it leads to whatever you want. I think it's a solid mix. You know, we're thinking about Vasaraga, but Gold is not that slow. He can get in. They jump you, right? Jump you and stuff. But anyway, that, that's my pick. Very, very strong character. Very fun. And if you like old dudes with white hair and beards, I'm sorry, that's the only option you got in this game. But yeah, give him a shot. All right, so next up is fan favorite Bridget. So for Bridget, it's kind of hard. We went with Cagliostro. So both these characters are quite fast, you know? Fast, tricky characters. Bridget can float. So she can do weird mix-ups with float with the yo-yo. Kyler's doesn't have that, but she got teleports. So she has weird, like, this is kind of like a float, right? Air teleport stuff to throw off the timing is very, very strong. Instead of yo-yo mix-ups, it can be like a trap in a teleport mix-ups. I can't really show you any of them because I don't know them, but she's a very, very tricky character. A set play character once you get started. And then also, goddamn Gilded Gear Strive. She got some Bridget buttons here. Just, just let the game play, the far S. The far S, or in this game, what, the, the far M, 5H, just 
bop in the cancel and the run the corner pressure. I think I think that's a good I think that's a good a good choice right here. And like Roger, so Bridget's got the plus on block super move. Here you go. This plus on block can teleport after. Now this character's cracked. But yeah, decent choice I think. Good buttons, fast speed. Uh, got some some tricky mix in the corner, and as well as got air mobility to a sort. Yeah, give her a try if you're a Bridget fan, or not. We don't need more Kagosa players. If, if I'm be real with you. All right, and last up, Asuka. Now this is an impossible task. There's no nobody can be like Asuka. But if we had to pick one, we went with with Beelzebub here. So Beelzebub as well. He's got some. He does have cubes. He's got black flies, right? So he's got strong projectile game. Right, he can change the time, he can charge him up. He can do two waves that are hard to, to block right here. So he's got gravity. As in he can control the stage. He's got a full screen unblockable. That's unblockable, by the way. If you're not dodging, you get hit by that anywhere. He's got teleports like Asuka as well. Just a very kind of unorthodox character that kind of fits the Asuka gameplay. Asuka, that, Asuka wish he had this. So you got a plus on block dive. Very, very strong. It leads in the combo. But yeah, obviously there's no spell or magic card gimmick or anything is that just that's just gone here but I, I feel like this is a good unorthodox character he's got zoning that can also turn into mix up rush down but yeah I, I think that's about as good as it gets right <laughs> for Asuka if you got a better one let me know but I think I think this is this is the way this guy's quite good too he's not Asuka broken but he's quite good quite annoying yeah there you go we got everybody gave you a, a rough recommendation. Obviously like I said none of these are one to one. You can definitely find if if you're trying to look for a character that, Based on your main, you probably find like two or three that could fit the bill here. So anything you really disagree with, let me know in the comments. But just just to close out, I really like this game. Like, I, I really like this game. I, I think this game is great. I think a lot of people that are playing it are like, this game's really good. And I wish more people gave it a try. So if you're a Strive player, if that's your first fighting game, it might be intimidating to try learning another fighting game. This one, like I said, has got a free-to-play version. you nothing to lose, you know? Free-to-play, download it, give it a try. They rotate the characters every week. So you can start with Grand, find somebody you like, and who knows? Worst case, you just, you're like, it's not for me, and you stop. But who knows? You might find your new favorite fighting game. Anyway, that's it. If you don't care about picking a character based on your main, you just want to know who to start with. Aside from Nier, I think just playing Grand, Grand is a great way to get, get into the game, right? He's got everything you need. Very strong, very fun, very funny. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you agree, disagree, what I get wrong, what I get right. If you got a better recommendation, post it up and hope to see you in game. Peace.